tough off season. It's been difficult at times with the weather conditions, but uh, everyone's in the same boat there. But uh, you know, the, the senior guys like Fozard and, and Mathers and Danny Orr, uh, you know, been been wonderful for the young guys. And uh, you know, people like Jay Gamut and, and Young Quest, you know, they've they've fitted in fine. So. Uh, uh, we're, there's a lot of reason to be excited. Yeah, it's been really good so far. Everybody's been really welcoming from the from the coaching staff and the players and, and all the backroom staff at the club have, have made it really easy to settle in and um, you know, been really enjoying my time so far. Oh yeah, oh, I met the boys on Friday morning when I arrived from the airport. They're all good lads. Um, yeah, they're all funny kind of blokes. But, um, no, they're, they're, everyone's good. Everyone at the club, from the coaching staff to the office people. So um, everyone's good. You are very much committed to the Castleford cars and looking forward to a new season. Food, brother, Casper food. <laughs> oh, I am at the moment, mate. So I'm here for three years. So I just got to focus on um, my job here, and um, that's all I'm doing, really. I think you see with the players that we got in the team, it, it'd be crazy not to not to move the ball around. But I think with the players that we've brought in. Uh, we need to be a little bit smarter about doing that and, and our focus to, you know, to defend some of our mistakes has, has got to be stronger. We've worked really hard on that in the off-season. I'll always have fond memories of, of my time at Warrington and uh, you know, lifelong friends there. And it's, a, it's a great club, but it's another new chapter for myself and um, a, different, um, a different challenge and, and one I'm you know, really looking forward to. And As I say, coming to a, to a club on the up and, and wanting to aspire to... Uh, to, 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 you know, to, to grow as a club and, and do as well as possible and I'm looking forward to being part of that. And how is pre-season going? Is it, yeah, do, was the cold snap much of a, much of a hindrance? To absolute you? torture to be honest. You know, it's so hard for training and all that sort of stuff but hopefully, uh, well, hopefully, fingers crossed that's all uh, behind us now and you know, we can just uh, look forward. And, you know, we've been training hard obviously as I said and um, looking forward for the, uh, the, the first game against Wakefield. As I said, I live with Tommy Lee so I've got to... Uh, Got to get the win there, so I can have the bragging rights until the uh, until the next game's around the corner. So I like to be aggressive, but uh, look, I'll, whatever game plan there is, there is for the team. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll do 100% for for the teammates, and I'm just a team um, team player, and I'll do anything to to win. So uh, whatever that is. So, but I, I'm committed and I'm an aggressive player. Um, but hopefully the Cast fans will will see what I've got. The key to our squad, but is we've got a, a nice mix there. We've got quite a few senior guys mixed in with, with a lot of youth. So, um, you know, guys like Johnny Walker and Adam Milner and, and Joe Rundle, uh, they're ready to play first grade, and that's exciting. It's, it's just great development. It shows the development and uh, the coach, the good coaching staff down there. Um, Steve Gill and uh, Richard Tunnelly doing a massive job, and um, hopefully we can get a few more playing like uh, the likes of Daryl Clark playing Super League this year. And I believe you got a bit of a knock at the moment. Will you be, be okay for Magic Weekend? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's uh, a bit unfortunate in the in the first friendly we had against York. I uh, did some damage to my wrist. Um, you know, I think it's uh, it's still pretty sore. And um, but you know, just a matter of time of just just looking after it, let, letting it settle down, and um, just been on a on a modified training program for the last few weeks, and it, it feels a, a hell of a lot better. So. Fingers crossed that you know everything's on track for for the start of the season. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the Crusaders might come last or something. If, <laughs> with any luck, no. Um, hopefully the boys down there go well. But yeah, as you said, hopefully uh, it's, it's a big year for Cass, and hopefully we make the playoffs and and uh, and, and go you know a couple of steps further than, than uh, we did with the Crusaders last year. And, you know, I don't see why we can't. You know, we've got as I said, we've got a great squad, great players. You know, um, and, and you know, hopefully we hit the ground running.